this is my new workflow to go from idea to design as fast as possible. And the goal is to make designs that actually convert people into paying for the product. So that's the goal and is to make it as fast as possible. So basically I will design the product in Figma. So this is a combination of actually designing it with Figma components, but also using screenshots and whatnot. And the trick here is you, you can take screenshots of other people's app, not their entire app, but like if you find a part of their app that you really like, you can screenshot it and put it inside your Figma layout. And this speeds up the process a lot. And then after I design it in Figma, what I will do is I will go over to V0. Some people hate it because it's made by Vercel, but whatever, like I think the tool is actually pretty good, but basically you just like paste in your screenshot. So I, I have my screenshot here of the kind of layout. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just some general UX flow so that V0 can improve it. And here's a trick. You tell it to of this design, but to focus on improving the user experience and not just changing colors, right? So basically I told it to give me three variations and here's the first variation. Here is the second variation and here is the third variation. So in this, in this example, I made the mistake of telling it to not change the colors. Like basically what it will do is basically just change colors and we don't want that. So I told it to not change the colors in my second message. And you can see that this time it just changed the UI um, the actual interface plus it just changed the user experience a little bit so the goal of the app is to allow the user to create videos and you can see that um, now it has all the credits the connections and the video example here and let's look through some of the other examples so sometimes the ui will mix ups but that's fine because we asked it to give three examples and here is the third example where i think it just moved around the cards like honestly it wasn't that big of a change but i think like the, the goal is just to like improve the actual UI and to change the user experience. So let's go over an example where I start from scratch and I find an idea. If, if you guys need help finding ideas, what you can do is go over to Exploring Insights. And this is a product that I'm working on. It's the largest database of, pro of profitable ideas. And you can go into any of these categories and let's go into infographic design. And what it will bring up is basically a table of ideas plus how much money the idea has already made on these different platforms. So this one is for Fiverr. So once you click on it, it will bring up this table and there's a lot of nice information that you can read through. But basically it gives you some ideas and this is the first one which we will go with, which uh, has already made almost $90,000. And it's basically this um, flow where the person wants to create a infographic. And here is like the pain point that they're trying to solve. And this is like the price point. So basically it's like a platform to help people create infographics, right? So what you can do is basically you go into Figma and you just create a screen and let, let's just like draw. So like you don't have to be an expert. I certainly am not a Figma expert, but basically you just like, you can draw, like just say infographic here. And then this like super low resolution or low, low fi design. And then like here are all the buttons, right? And then you can have like, I don't know, like history here. So this is like super, super low effort. And after you finish, obviously this literally took like five seconds. You would go over to V0 and paste it here and, and you'll say, take this design and make it more beautiful. Give me three variations where you focus on improving the UI and UX. No color changes, just use black and white. And we want to give a context of like what it's solving. So here, paste in the problem and idea. It's a platform to help people create infographics. All right, there we go. So that's a prompt. Obviously you can improve this a bit more if you want, but I just want, I just made this to make it quick as possible. The, the key components is to tell it to not uh, focus on changing colors and just to improve the UI and UX, and then just give it context of what it's trying to create. And here is the design. So you can see that from our example, we wanted the options here, the actual canvas here, and then history here. And Honestly, it, it kind of made that. So here is the different options, the templates, history. I I like the different card, like the sections that it, it did like this. So it has like templates, history. That's like a different user experience flow. 
And what you can do is that if you like it, you can tell it to improve on this, but let's just say, give me three variations of this. So what we can do is like tell it exactly what we like about the dashboard and to tell it to change anything that we do not like. So you can see that it's slowly creating the variation. So the first variation is called modern grid layout. So here's like, there's a quick, quick create. And then here are like your project layouts and then all the templates. So I kind of like this layout. It gives you like the three pages that we need to create, which is like the history templates and how to quick create, quick create the infographic. So let's go over some of the other examples. So this one here, it has a different layout where like the different pages are on the side, but the quick create is here. And then here are like the history. So this is kind of like more of our, more of our design that we made, but it's, it's nice to have like other variations so you can get like inspiration. So this one, it's like more of a grid layout where all of the projects are on the first, first page. And then probably you would have like the page where you go into each project and then it would like show the option, create the templates or the, the infographics. So I really like that. And then like to take it a step further, let's say I really like the variation to create variations of that, right? So what you can do is from the variations, you can create more variations of the one you like. So let's say I like vari variations too, but like, I don't like the color scheme. I don't like how it's laid out or whatever, right? Like maybe I want this extra feature added. So what, what you can do is from like the variations, you can create more variations. So it's more, it's kind of like a tree branching where like you just like go down a tree of like what you like. And then um, it's like quickly iterate from idea to design. And then um, I have like other videos on how you go from design to code, but basically th this is like really easy way to go from um, idea to design as fast as possible. So you can see that it's creating all of the vari variations based off of var variation two here. So, so very variation two is like the one with the column the column layout with like the quick create and the history here. So you can see that it tried to keep the same concept of having the columns still dashboard look like. Um, and it, it also added these two like but create new template as fast as possible. Um, and this one, it's like a little third example, which is like, so the columns here, and then it has like, I, I like how there is a quick create here. And then here is the, the history, right? So I really like this example. So I would use this, I would copy this screenshot, put in the cursor and totally code it. Um, but yeah, this is just a example of how you go from idea to design really fast. Um, so hopefully you guys found something useful and I will see you guys next time.